Well, good evening, greetings, and salutations. This is Passionate Bliss, and I'm here again tonight with questions, comments, useless facts about me. But first, go to my YouTube channel, Passionate Bliss. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you over there. My full video will always be on my YouTube channel. Eventually, I'll only be on YouTube when I roll out my Black Love t-shirt collection next year in the early part of the year, okay? And then go on over to my online store, my passionate bliss .myshopify.com, and you can see my first edition of the Black Love t-shirt line. It's available in hoodies and sweatshirts, t-shirts, whatever you would like, long sleeve shirts as well. And um, we'll see you over there as well, okay? So because this is a relationship channel, wanting to reconnect men and women, in particular black men and women, what I wanted to talk about today was the subject of love. Okay, what is love? What does love look like and feel like to you? And how do you show love? How can you show love? Okay, and so my quote for today is this. The most important thing in life is to learn how to give out love and to learn how to let love come in. Okay, and um, the word I wanted to emphasize there was learn. Learn, okay, because... Uh, you may be struggling or having difficulty finding someone or you're with someone and you don't feel love from them or um, you want to feel more loved from that person and um, or maybe that person is complaining to you that they don't feel loved that they don't feel loved okay it's a feeling and um, people need that if a relationship is to thrive and grow then they have got to feel loved so um, you have to some of us learn how to give love because you know through the years um, throughout my professional career um, I have heard people tell me stories about this that, about what's going on in their relationship or I've heard them you know tell me this happened that happened in their relationship and um, you know you ask them you are you guys in love do you think he loves you um, do you think he's doing that because he loves you and she was like oh I know he loves me but the person is doing all sorts of unacceptable things so, you know, we've heard people tell us things that they think are love, but it isn't love. Not to me, maybe not to you, but to them it's love. And so I wanted to look at what is love in particular. And you know how I like my definitions because um, definitions to me set a standard. Um, you can look at it and you can uh, examine it and see if you're meeting that standard or see if there's something in that requirement that you're not doing. And um, maybe you are meeting it and didn't realize it. And maybe you're not and can improve. So I wanted to look at the definition of love, first of all. Okay, definition. An intense feeling of deep affection, tenderness, intimacy, fondness, warmth, and attachment. So it's a feeling, an intense feeling. So it's important that the things you do make the person you are with feel loved feel loved okay and so um, I did come up with ways to show love and affection 15 so it'll be a two-parter again I'm gonna get through seven I hope and um, then tomorrow we'll do the last uh, eight okay and so let's start with number one and that's give them your full attention when they're talking to you okay so if someone that's important to you that you love and you want to feel love from you comes up to you and start talking to you um, hopefully you're not busy but if you are, you may have to say, hey, come back in 30 minutes. Let me finish this up. Or um, talk to me after this game, uh, and I'll give you my full attention. Or, you know, you know, tell them to come back later, unless it's an emergency, you know. But you want to give them your full attention. You don't want to be multitasking. You don't want to be on your phone. You don't want to be, you know, watching with a game saying, go ahead, go ahead, I hear you. You know, you want to give them your full attention, okay? That makes people feel loved. They feel like they're important to you, okay? Number two, anticipate their needs. Okay, so in order to anticipate someone's needs, you have to know what it is they value, what it is they do, you know, and then you how, and then you think about how you can add to that, you know, how you can make that better for them. Um, uh, for instance, like I said, I think I've used this example before that my mother was always traveling out of town for different events and different things, um, and because uh, I live in a small town where sometimes you have to get something from the next town over, which may be an hour away or two hours away. And she was always on the road traveling. And my dad went and got AAA. He said, yeah, why don't you get AAA too? Because I just got it for your mother because she's always running up and down that road and I'm not always with her. So I want her to have, you know, uh, backup in case I'm not there and somebody will come out there and assist her. And um, 
she'll be okay. And my 15 year old daughter was standing behind me and she said to me in my ear and they couldn't, he couldn't hear. She said, uh, he's always thinking about her. And so um, that is what it's meant by anticipate their needs. If there's something that, you know, they can only get from out of town, you're out of town, you grab one for her or him and you bring it back, you know. You know, his, you know he, he's complained about his wrench or whatever. Last time he tried to fix something, you know, you see a wrench on sale, get the wrench. So um, those are ways you can anticipate their needs. And that lets them know that you're thinking about them. And that's a way of showing love, um, affection. Um, and so... Number three, know their love language. And we're going to talk about love language more a little later in the week. This is kind of a new theory that's come out and, you know, people have been talking about it. So we'll talk about it a little later on in the week. But um, know their love language. Do they feel love when you do acts of kindness for them? Okay. Do they feel love when you touch them? Do, you, do they feel love um, when you give them gifts? Do they feel love when there's an act of service? Okay, so let's see, act of kindness, um, you know, I don't know what that would be, act of kindness, because I'm kind all the time, so um, I guess that would be, I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea what act of kindness is, so maybe I need to look up kindness, but, um, uh, you know, if you're, if you're considerate towards what they need, if you, um, I guess bring them flowers or roses, but actually that kind of falls under gifts, so I'll come back to kindness, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'll look into acts of kindness more because I'm always kind. When you're someone who's not, you know, coming for them or attacking them and you're, you know, you're supportive, you know, or you're um, someone who is there for them, who's, you know, on time, who volunteers to help them. So maybe, you know, that could be an act of kindness. And so, um, but I'll look it up some more because I'm, I'm actually kind all the time. So it's kind of hard for me to um, pin it down. I'll think more about it. Okay, um, the next one, according to love language, uh, some people's their love language is touch. If they know that if you um, are sitting watching TV and they put their hand on your thigh, you know, that could be a sign that they love you. And they're just letting you know that. Or if you're somebody who's, you know, um, who they hug you, you know, uh, for no reason. You're just standing there and they come up behind you and they hug you. Um, touch to those people are um, demonstrations of a love language. For me, I think touch is more... Um, an important part of mine because I, I do touch people um, and I do like to be touched in return um, some people uh, love language is gifts uh, and it's funny because I had a friend that she would give me gifts and I would be like why did you give me this um, it wasn't anything I needed it was no reason no occasion and she said because I want you to know how much you mean to me and um, how important you are and how much I care and I said um, uh, I said so giving gifts shows people that you care about them to you and she said yes, because because I hadn't given her gifts at all, I, but I did eventually. I did afterwards, but you know, and she said yes, and so that was her love language, and so I learned that from her. That was strange to me, because um, I give people gifts for no reason all the time. <laughs> if I see something on sale, and I think, oh, this is her uh, or him, I'll get it and I give it to him. So, um, you know, but she saw that as love. That's how she shows love. She gives him a gift, not a big gift, a little gift, you know. But some people um, want gifts. Okay, then also um, acts of service. You know, maybe she wants help with laundry. And to me, that, that means I love you. Maybe she wants help with the dishes. Maybe she wants help cleaning up. If you pick up a chore that's not yours, you know, she'll appreciate that because you lifted that load off of her. And that would be, you know, oh, thank you. Or him. You know, I don't know if he won't help cutting the grass. I ain't going to cut no grass, but I'll hire somebody to help you cut grass if it's a problem. But, um, you know, uh, whatever their act of service is, that would mean... Um, a part of their love language has been responded to. So you have to kind of find out who your partner is. I had a, someone actually tell me when we first started talking, go take the test and, and come back and let me know which one is yours. <laughs> and so and I said, which one is yours? And so um, that was interesting. But, you know, um, I think there's valid points to it. Um, let's see. Number five, uh, touch them. Okay. I kind of touched on that with love language because it's part of my love language. Touch them. Not romantic. I'm, see, I'm sorry, the touch should be romantic, not sexual. Touch them in a way that isn't sexual. It's not leading up to sex. You know, touch is a way that someone can be shown love. Um, and it makes them feel affectionate, tender, fondness. Shows them warmth, intimacy, attachment, okay? Um, always make time. Okay, because we're all busy people. We live in a busy world. We have a lot to do to just maintain the status quo or to get ahead, you know. But you have to make time for people. I'm busy, you know. Make the time. If they call you, 
call them back. If you text, you text them back. What is wrong with you saying, I want to touch base with you because you called. I'm busy. I don't have a lot of time to talk. Is there anything urgent, immediate you need? And they'll say, you know, yes or no. Or I'll talk to you later. Okay, we'll call me back when you're not busy. Okay. But you show that person that they're important to you. You made that time that you didn't have. And how long does that call take? Less than, a, you know, 10 seconds to say, hey, I want to touch base with you. I saw you called. You know, um, I'm really busy. Is there anything you need for me right now? Yes, bring home milk. Okay, that's the end of it. So um, how long did that take? You know, if they text you, you know, text them back. You know, maybe you didn't see the text for an hour. Sorry, I missed your text. What's up? You need anything? I'm crazy busy. You know, and they'll say, no, just call me later. You know, for the most part, but you showed them that they were important because you responded. Make the time. How much time does it take? It doesn't take much time. So to me, people saying, oh, I was busy. I couldn't call you like three or four or five days. That's ridiculous. And those are excuses. And what they're showing you, is that you're not important to them, okay? And you told them that, even though you didn't mean to, that's what you told them, okay? Um, make eye contact. You know, what it does, it lets them know that you're present, and um, it validates them, you know? Make eye contact, okay? So don't be texting or doing your work or, you know, doing dishes or whatever you're trying to do um, when somebody is talking to you. Or if you're looking all around, you're looking at something else, you're looking outside while they're talking, you know, make eye contact with that person so that they can know that you are paying attention to them and that they have your attention. So um, those are the top seven. That video's gotten long. And so I'll go ahead and maybe I should have did a three-part, but I'll go ahead and close it out saying y'all have sweet dreams. Wait to find them real. And tomorrow we'll do part two, okay?